I'm Tyson Rosiska, running back at Minot High School, and you're watching Under the Lights on KMOT. Under the Lights on KMOT TV starts now. Welcome to our Under the Lights coverage. I'm Zach Keenan. The Velva, Garrison, Drake, Animus, Aggies, always a mouthful. They've been ranked number one since every single week of the season. Tonight, they face Stanley. Velva is looking for their 20th straight win at Larry Sandy Field in the Star City. Stanley received the opening kickoff. Velva defense forced a three and out. Aggies rolled downfield on their opening drive. Ben Shep, the junior quarterback, evading blitzers. He throws up a duck caught by a diving Hank Bodine. Hurry up offense and on the next play, Shep takes the snap. Guess what? Ben's got a blast. Trucks his way into the end zone for six and the Aggies lead 6-0. Hey, and they get the ball back thanks to another defensive effort. Shep, again, running away from pressure, finds Kyle Volson. 10-yard screen pass, touchdown. Two-point conversion from Trey Eigelhart made it 14-0 Velva. Still in the first quarter, Shep from the shotgun. Reggie Bruner, you can see him calling for the ball. He gets it. Beats two men on his way in for six more. Velva DAG goes up 22-0. On the kickoff, credit to the Blue Jays for staying in the game. This has been a season full of improvement for them, and it's thanks in part to Drake Schlosser. He goes 70 yards to the house. Hit the fast forward button, not on your remote, but I will. Extra point puts Stanley on the board, down 22 to seven. But Velva, they're the reigning state champs. They're a really good team. Second quarter, Shep hits Hank the Tank Bodine in the flat, races into the end zone. 20 straight wins for the Aggies. First time they've won that many in a row since they went 24-0 in 2009 to 2010. Joe Skrzeski joins us now with more highlights. Zach. I first off, I love hearing Larry Sandy Field. If anyone's it's earned it, right? Ever. Right, yeah, yeah best know, thing right? ever. A right, legend. Yeah. Ned Rose uh, hosting South Prairie tonight. Zach, I thought I'd uh, seen enough drama like earlier this week at that presidential debate. And yeah. then I came home and covered this game tonight. Honest to God, first half, more turnovers than a bakery. All right, I'm done with the jokes. Let's go to the highlights. Early on in the game, Royals already knocking on the door. But check out this defense from Jody Myers. Interception Ooh. in the end zone. South Prairie is denied. No, sir. Moments later, Nedro is now driving. The snaps fumbled, but Derek Heiner collects himself, gets it to Myers. Is there nothing he can't do? Takes it for about a 20-yard gain. All right, Jody. Nedro is with a little wild cap. The snap goes to Keaton Cole, but a hard hit. Knocks the ball loose, and the Royals land on it. Now it's South Prairie who's driving. Hayden Bowl dodging defenders, fighting for yards, but then he's gonna lose the ball. Oh my goodness. And Ned Rose is gonna recover it here. All right, guys, let's get a score. Right. Ned Rose on a mission. Hand off to Caleb Egan. Watch him dodge, duck, dip, dive, and well, dodge before he's <laughs> finally taken down inside the 15. And then the handoff to Davian Clemens, who heads for the sideline and he gets in the end zone for six. Now they would get the point after. That's important. You'll know why in a moment. All right. Look at this. Former KMOT <laughs> News Director Nick Dreyer says, Go Cardinals. Last real play of the first half. Big fourth down. Royals air it out, but it's Keaton Cole knocking down the pass. Ned Rose wins this seven oh, to six. Yeah. The difference that point after dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria back to Zach. I'm Thank done. you, Joe. Number two ranked Minot High travel to number three West Fargo Cheyenne tonight. Magicians up 3-0 in the first when the Mustangs go to the air. Caden Olson to Caleb Deer over the middle. Touchdown makes it seven to three Cheyenne. Second quarter now Mustangs on the move again. This pass though through the receiver's hands and into the hands of Logan Conklin. He does the rest. Pick six. Hey, the Magi up 10 to seven. We move to the fourth quarter. The Mustangs are back up on top 14 to 10. You've heard this guy's name. Tyson Ruziska finds the edge. Nothing but green grass down the right sideline into the end zone. Magi retake the lead 17 14, but the Mustangs would take control later in the quarter. Barry Nepu breaking tons of tackles just inside the pylon. Minot would make it close in the end, but Cheyenne takes this one. The Magi are undefeated no more. In New Salem, the reigning nine-man champs host number one ranked South Border. South Border Mustangs got the ball first, only took them five plays to find Pater. Berkeley France swing pass to Levi Bucholz. Bucholz beats everyone 
in a foot race. Takes it in for six. Two-pointer makes it 8-0. After forcing a punt, France is looking to roll to his right back across the field and heaves it up for Cole Stock. Stock catches it, and it'll result in South Border's second score in two drives to go up 16. Flipping fields in the second quarter, South Border defense still pitching the shutout, offense still rolling. France uses his legs this time. His third touchdown of the day, we well, had five by the end of the night. South Border Mustangs, one win away from the program's first ever region title. We've got a whole lot of volleyball in Delax today. Highlights from the Laker invite, plus some nine-man football when Under the Lights is back.